Welcome back to a new video and on this occasion we're going to do a flight again in the Cessna 172. Stick around because it's going to be very interesting. Fasten your seatbelts. Hello aviators and welcome to a new video. Today we will embark on an exciting flight aboard a Cessna 172 from the Veracruz airport bound for El Enchero airport in Zalapa. I am Charlie, a private pilot and I invite you to join me on this trip. To begin we are going to start with the planning of the flight. I am going to explain to you a little bit of what we are going to do during our journey. We are going to fly out of the Veracruz International Airport in Mexico. It has two active runways, 01 and 19, and a parallel runway that is already inactive. We're going to travel a distance of 40 nautical miles, which should take around 30 minutes of flight time. Due to a lack of equipment at the Lencero Airport, we are making a completely visual approach. Let's hope the conditions allow us to and we're able to land properly at the airport. Before starting the flight, a visual inspection needs to be made in the cockpit where we must ensure that the instruments, the controls and the entire electrical system are in optimal condition to perform a safe flight. We must also verify the documentation that is on board mainly because it's very likely that at the destination airport we'll be asked for all the plane's documentation. Runway 01 is active, wind is 082 knots, altimeter 2992, Taxi via Alpha, stay off the runway, monitor the frequency. Active runway 1, wind 082 knots, altimeter 2992, roll via Alpha. I'm keeping off the runway, monitoring the frequency. Direct flight plan to Jalapa, runway 01, wind 082 knots, altimeter 2,992, climb and maintain 5,500 feet, report 10 miles out. Cleared for takeoff with a direct flight plan to Zalapa, runway 1, wind 082 knots, altimeter 2,992, making and maintaining 5,500, I'll report 10 miles out. All right, now we're ready to take off from runway 01 at Veracruz International Airport. We need to reach takeoff speed, which for the Cessna 172 usually is around 60 to 65 knots, or even up to 75 knots. We will take off lightly and need to maintain the correct attitude of the airplane.
conditions are clear skies, calm winds, altimeter 2,992, report any changes. Direct flight to the destination, meteorological conditions en route, clear skies, calm wind, altimeter 2,992, I'll report any changes. We are now in the ascent phase, where we need to reach an altitude of 5,500 feet, which was not authorized. We have to make certain adjustments to the plane, like optimizing the fuel mixture to maintain good performance. When we're in the cruising phase, we'll reach an altitude of 5,500 feet. At this point, we need to keep the plane stable to continue our journey to the Jalapa Veracruz airport. As we approach the airport, we need to start the phase and preparation for descent. We need to reduce our speed gradually and be able to descend to a safe altitude. In this case, we'll be descending approximately 500 feet per minute. The speed needs to be adjusted to maintain an appropriate descent rate at the altitude we're cleared for.
Flight for the final approach to runway 08, surface wind 5 knots from the east, cleared to land. Cleared for final approach, runway 8, surface wind 5 knots east, cleared to land. Zalapa Tower, requesting touch and go on runway 8. Cleared for touch and go, turn right, report in the work area. Cleared for touch and go, turn right, report in the work area. Thanks a bunch. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. See you on the next flight. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and obviously share it with everyone who is also passionate about aviation like you. See you next time. Bye.